Okay, exterior light fixtures, these sconces, carriage style sconces. They should be sealed when they're attached to the wall so the water doesn't get done in them. This brickwork here is called a lentil, and there should be weep holes in this lentil, and they're not, and this should be sealed. I mean, you can't see this, I'm not going to show it to you, but there's an address down here. In another video, I just go off like I know what I'm talking about. Over in the water section, it says there's not an address on the front of the house, but there is. But there is. The doorbell, like the light fixture, should be sealed. I can't hear it with all that. Hold on. I heard it. But is it eliminated? Doorbells are beyond the scope of this inspection, by the way. But I like them. Uh, it's not illuminated. Not sealed and not illuminated. Let's go right here. This is my, my method. Doorbell not sealed, not illuminated. Rain gutters. When they come to the house, when they come to the walls like this, they're supposed to have about a two inch gap. Two inch gap is supposed to be there. They're not supposed to terminate that close to the structure. These are soffit vents. The house has a soffit vent system and a ridge vents on the roof, which you've already seen that video if you're watching them in line. But these soffit vents need to be cleaned or replaced. That's the air intake into your vent. It's not all about insulation. I get that. It's not all about insulation. It's also it's about ventilation. Lawn sprinkler heads shouldn't be closer to the structure than 12 inches. Rain gutters are below grade. All across here, this is level to almost negative drainage. And anytime you have wood mulch underneath the drip line, the Texas Structural Pest Control Board considers that conducive. Those are conducive conditions. Termites like that stuff. They just do. I don't know, rotten wood on the ground. Why would they like that? We've got high soil conditions right in here, missing a screen. I wonder how many screens are missing. I don't remember seeing one. Double pane vinyl frame windows. High soil conditions. Rain gutters too close. I really like these blinds. I do. These are pretty nice. Pretty nice. High soil, high soil, blinds, clogged vents. Flagstones, boy, I never quit talking about these things. Flagstones, not dimensionally uniform. I'll tell you a granny joke if I haven't told it to you already. Sorry about that, granny. This is called spalling, like out the front, which you're going to see on the, the water, the um, meter video. And with all this doppling from the leaves coming through here, you really can't see the difference in the texture. So, high soil negative drainage, high soil negative drainage. Remember those weep holes I was talking about over the front door? They're supposed to be around the foundation perimeter as well. See, home ownership 101, all roofs leak. All walls leak. They're supposed to shed water faster than they accept it. And brick is porous. Well, this brick used to be porous until they painted it. They took a you know low maintenance wall system and turned it into a, a higher maintenance wall system. But uh, we don't have wall. We got high soil. Water goes downhill. If this soil is higher than the foundation, where's it going to go? In your house, that's where it's going to go. We got some cracks. This is what it looked like before they painted it. Right in there, has some cracks all on this wall right here. You know why we have cracks on this wall? Maybe it was the foundation, but it didn't have to be. Look, look at that corner. Look at that corner. How far is that? All right. Now look out of the street. See that line and that line? How far are those? They put these lines in there. Those are called control joints. Some people call them expansion joints. Call them what you will. But they put them in there because we expect the street to move. We're in Richardson. We expect the walls to move. You got this much wall without a control or an expansion joint. It's gonna move. It's gonna move what happened. It made an, it made its own made its own joint. That's why we put those in there. That's why we do that. We've got some surface drains over here because basically you can see where the water comes down. And the water comes down, and the water comes down, and the water comes down. We need some drainage. We just do, we need some drainage. That looks like a double kitchen vent right there. That's what that looks like. Okay. Moving on along. We've already been on the roof. Double pane vinyl frame window. Still not finding a screen. Now, this one's a slider. 
This is a slider. Okay, so that's a side sash. The other ones at the front, they were going up and down. Those are single sashes, unless they're doubles. And this one right here, going to the wet bar, it's called a fixed window. It's not articulate. This window is articulate. It slides. Should be sealed. Should be sealed. I wanted to see what this door looks like. It should have a handle on the outside. It's a metal panel door. Metal panel door. It looks okay. It's okay. We're, uh, when we get to the electrical, we're going to talk about these doors when we get to the electrical. This door is not okay. See this bottom panel? You see that first panel? Let's see how it's bent? Dollars of Donuts, if they locked it and then tried to open it with the opener. Never goes well. Never goes well. Just saying. Coming along here, we got some storage. It's kind of hard to see if you got any termites over there or not. And it's high. You're not supposed to have wood to ground contact. You're just not. Not supposed to have wood to ground contact. Oh, it's coming down here a little bit. Coming down here a little bit, I guess. The water drains all through here. That's not four inches. That's what code says. Six inches, but home inspector uh, study course says that you have to study to pass your license. I teach you things that are not in the code. Isn't that weird? Okay, so we go along here. We got the siding. I can't tell because they butted into the joints. <sighs> There's some discussion about whether you should paint or seal these, these butt joints. And um, depending on when it was installed, the manufacturer sometimes says that you can seal them and sometimes says that you shouldn't. Probably when this was installed, they shouldn't have been sealed. But regardless, they're supposed to be in, uh, um, primed on the ends, and we can't see that because they seal them. What we can see over here is look there. We got a little. There isn't any. There isn't any flashing tape behind here. No matter when this was installed, flashing tape should have been installed behind there. So the all these sides, all this was not flashed properly. Does not flash properly. Rain gutters going below grade. So far, I haven't seen any that do, that do different. You want some termites? Well, this is how you get them. Right here. That looks kind of exciting. Looks like a jungle. Looks like a jungle. All that debris, all those bushes. Look at that. Huh. Wood and wooden siding behind it. Look at all that. Fate loves temptation. Looks like we got a crack in the foundation right here. Speaking of which, that's too far away to be a shrinkage crack. Corner pops, some people call them. Call it what you will, but you know. There's another one right here. That's not a shrinkage crack. That's not a corner pop. We got some cracking between the brick and mortar right in here. A little bit right over there. This is a pedestrian doors into the garage. Nice and wide, by the way. You're on a golf course. You can come out with a cart. You can come out, you can just drive a cart right on out of here. Moving on along, tree shouldn't be closer to the house than 25 feet. Oh, that's a little maple. That's a little Japanese maple. I get it. It's an ornamental tree. Well, it's a small kitten right now. It's going to grow up to be a big old nasty tomcat. And this guy, he's already. Would I keep this tree? You bet I would. Look at that. This tree's beautiful. It's probably why you're buying the house, maybe. I don't know. It looks really nice. It's too close to the house, though. It just happens to be too close to the house, too. All these panels like this, going up the front walkway and stuff, I can feel them move under my weight. I weigh 170. <laughs> 175. Okay, but, um, you know, they're going to move with the movement. <laughs> I guess. Is that redundant or what? But yeah, they're going to, you know, there's, there's going to be some movement as, as the ground moves. They, they move under my feet. And you should have two inch gap between the siding here. You should have a two inch gap, okay, to let any moisture out because this way the moisture will, will come in. This is an interior receptacle cover receptacle. I thought I heard the doorbell. But I didn't, it's those chimes. Those chimes from Hillbilly Home Inspection. We hear those chimes. No GFCI on the patio. Oh, no, no GFCI on the patio and it's an indoor receptacle cover plate. Moving on along. And I've already talked about, oh, I found a screen. I believe it's the first screen I've seen. It's for a bathroom. That looks like a bathroom window anyway. Probably a bathroom. 
This is an unconventional application. This is an oriented strand board, OSB. And somebody came over here and they just, you know, stuck it up there and painted it. it looks like it's been holding up okay because it's kind of covered over here. It's not so bad. It's kind of interesting, kind of unique. You can put a dark board up here or something. I don't know. You can do something with it. I'm sure somebody's still not GFCI protected. Still not GFCI protected. And you have all these lights going to it. All these lights that you can just reach up here. No GFCI protection. And I'm up here. No GFCI protection. Shock me. Shock me. Okay, that's what you do. High soil conditions. Bushes next to the wall. We still got that going on. Still got that going on. Back faucet here. Not properly supported. It's insulated though. Not insulated though, but not properly supported. Works. I thought it worked. Yeah, it does. I didn't think I'd lost my mind. There's a pig right there. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Want to talk to us? Looks like he lost his ear. Okay. Speakers. Wind chimes. High soil. Mulch. 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 Coming along, it's all been painted. This is the main power supply to the house. Uh, this one right here on this side of the house. I already turned him on. He's not properly supported. He's not insulated. Doesn't have an anti vacuum, uh, anti siphon device. There we go. That's, that's your single grounding rod. That's your single ground rod right in there. Dog door. If you don't have a dog, that's a hole in your wall. If you don't have a dog, that's a hole in your wall. That might be how I get in the house. This is the gas meter. We talked about that. This window's been boarded up. I don't know what for. That's the secondary drain line. It's supposed to go in an obvious location, so if it's leaking, you know you got a problem, but you'll never know. You'll never know. Let me close this. I'm not going to close that. We're running the sprinkler system. Close that. Moving on along. And I'm not going to close this one because I'm going to run the sprinkler system. Inquiring minds want to know. You know, not dimensionally uniform. And along here, you know, wood mulch next to the house. Look at that. We're all here. I thought I saw something in here. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. It's shady back here. Well, I'll just be. Man, I just knew I had something for you. I just knew I had it. I mean, I don't know where, and it could be my imagination, and that's not my job. But I seem to remember a little bit of wood rot on a couple of these lower shades. That's what I seem to remember. So, coming on along. Looks pretty nice. Rain gutter's too close. Ah, we got one, some more movement right in here. Look at that. These are called stretcher bricks because they come out and it's your regular brick work. Get some cracking right in there. How about that? See something twice, see something else. These are those bricks I remember moving under my feet. Paving stones. 